This is Madison Bumgarner, at one time one of the best pitchers in baseball. Today, though, the guy's looking just a little bit different. The three-time World Series winner spent a majority of his time with the San Francisco Giants. With the Giants, he was one of the best pitchers in baseball through the 2010s. Then he signed a contract in the division to go to the Arizona Diamondbacks. Ever since then, the dude fell apart completely. These are some of his most important pitching stats going from 2015 all the way down to when he got released in 2023. And the massive things you can see right here is the K percentage. Went from an 83 in 2015 when he was dominant all the way down to 2022 at 9%. Right here with the chase rate, aka the amount of pitches that batters end up chasing. You can see in 2015, the guy was at an 83% on his chase rate. Now it is down to 26% in 2022. Literally in every single category, the dude just fell off. But this is not how I'm going to let the three-time World Series winner go down. We're going to be getting him on a new team, and we're going to be taking over the rest of Mad Bum's career. Let's see if we can fix the freaking 33-year-old. Oh, man. Coach, I need you to not completely ruin him in the first two seasons. Let's go. Let's get this thing started and let's see where the heck we're going. Now that Mad Bum officially got released, we need a new team for him. So let's go ahead and spin the wheel and let's see where the heck he ends up. Come on, Mad Bum. I need us to go on to a pretty solid team that at least has a very, very good... Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's going to be homecoming time. What I was going to say before I get interrupted was I need a team that has a very, very good offense and an okay pitching staff. With the Giants, we really don't get that. But still, we're back with the Giants. That could be such a huge buff for him. And here he is, Mad Bum, back on the Giants. Being on this team could save him right here. One of the ways that I'm going to be helping him is through the training right here. I'm guessing right now, yeah, definitely not training. I mean, that is 100% obvious. Based off of how he's been performing, that makes a lot of sense. So if we get him back with the pitching, coach in San Francisco. I feel very, very nice. Another way that we're going to be helping them is through the pitching upgrade wheel. As you guys can see, we got plus 20s on all the insanely good pitching stats, and that's just the good side of the wheel. We got things like potential upgrade, which would be like moving them from a C to a B potential. We got stuff like get traded, which I really hope does not happen here. We got add a pitch, got moved to the bullpen. And then one of the things that I'm hoping that we get is start using the sticky stuff, aka plus 10 on the VLO. As a little bit of a boost, just because he's back in the Giants, let's go ahead and spin this one time, see what the heck we're going to get, and we'll go ahead and get this thing started. Come on, Mad Bum. I need a lot of help here as we're going to get plus 10 to his clutch. Pretty fitting to be on his back with a team that he won three World Series on. So now it's going to go from a 43 pitching clutch to a 53. Now, I'm going to just put in the wheel anytime I see that Mad Bum has a pretty decent stat line. I mean, if I see a big improvement from him being on the D-backs, I'll go ahead and spin the wheel. If I see stuff like that he has more quality starts and less innings, I'll go ahead and spin the wheel for him. If I see that he gets any complete games, he gets two wheel spins. Any shutouts, he gets two wheel spins. If he beats his last year on the walks or the strikeouts or anything else, he also gets another wheel spin let's see how good mad bum can do i will see you guys around the midseason. mad bum back with your team do not let me down here july 30th right now the giants are 50 and 56 honestly not that bad the dodgers though 81 wins what the heck dude freaking nerf them guys Either way, though, Mad Bum, how we feeling slotting in fifth right now? Give me something nice, dude. Come on. That's actually not that bad. Considering everything, he's actually doing a lot better than when he was on the D-back. So I guess we'll take it. He's still not great, but hey, I'll take what I can get. Out of 30 games so far, he started four of them. So I guess he wasn't technically the starter. He's gone two and three, has two saves. There we go. The only other times he's had saves was in the postseason when he's winning World Series. So I guess we'll take the saves. That's at least going to be a wheel spin right there. Everything else, though, honestly, is not looking that great. I mean, the 34 walks is not bad, but considering he pitched a full year in 2021 and only had 39, I'm a little bit concerned about that. Everything else, honestly, not that good. So, all right, Mad Bum saves is what you're going to be getting that wheel spin on. Oh man, this guy is, <laughs> this guy's washed up completely. Come on, Mad Bum. I'm here to save him from that. Please, Will, give me something good. If I'm being real, we need a plus 20 immediately to something. Please. There we go. Plus 20 to home runs per nine. That is such a huge help. We're trying to keep this guy in the MLB for as long as possible. And honestly, the entire goal of this video is either to get back to the World Series and win that thing or just prove that you're not the garbage can equivalent to a pitcher right now. That's all we care about. Either way, home runs per nine. Let's get a plus 20 on that thing. Going up from a 56 to a 76. I'm feeling so good about that. That brings the guy up from a 71 to a 75 overall, by the way. Now all we really need is help with the hits per nine and Ks per nine. Let's see how the heck we finish out this year and let's hope for the best. Send off the H33 season. We finish off 78 and 84. That's actually a lot better than I thought we were going to do. All right, I'm down. Mad Bum finished off with a 73 on the overall, so we did go down. But again, how we looking? Logan Webb dealing, Sean Manea dealing, Anthony dealing, Alex Wood the opposite of dealing. Mad Bum though, first year back in San Francisco. How we feeling? There we go. Hey, not bad, baby. The guy only started 15 games this season compared to 30 last year, but he has roughly the same amount of innings, which is very very nice. The hits were way down, which I love. The runs were way down. The ERA was down. Home runs were the exact same. Walks were the exact same. Strikeouts were lower, which is so unfortunate. ERA though, let's go. In one year, the guy posted up a lower ERA than the entire time with the Diamondbacks. The WHIP was 
actually down, which I do love. The quality starts were nine compared to six, but besides that, everything else, eh, not really the best. Overall, we get wheel spins on the whip. We get earned runs, runs, and hits. Not bad at all right there. Let's get to the wheel. Let's get this thing started. First wheel spin for the hits. What are you going to give me here? His stats right now still aren't great, but it's a lot better than it was last year as we get plus 20 on stamina. Wheel spin for the runs. How we looking? Please give me something decent as I'll take it. Plus 10 the walks per nine. Wheel spin for the earned runs. I need a plus 20. Come on, baby, as we're getting plus 10 to clutch. I'm still down for that. That should help us with the complete games and possibly the shutouts. And then the last spin right now for the whip. Give me that plus 20 that I'm looking for. Come on, baby. Come on, as we get to add a pitch. I think right now we're going to get rid of the one pitch that has been giving him a little bit of trouble, and that's that two seam. We're going to go ahead and change that thing up with a sinker. He was throwing a sinker from 2018 on, and let's be honest, it didn't really work out. But back with the Giants, we're going to give it another chance, and let's see if it actually helps us. Let's see where Madison ends up next year, because again, he only signed a one-year deal. So there's a possibility that he leaves the Giants. I think that'd be the dumbest idea in the world, but let's see what happens. Back with the opening day. Come on, Mad Bum. Please tell me they're not going to be with someone else. Come on, dude. There we go. Sign another contract with the Giants. How much you getting, baby? 5.5. Not bad. Let's see just how much better he can do than last year. I need to see another great season out of him. I'm looking for a three-something ERA this year. The day after the All-Star game, what do we got? Show me something nice. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh my God. He broke back into the threes, dude. It really was just leaving Arizona. That fixed him and getting probably some PEDs from this wheel, but still. In 113, and his pitch has 113 hits, which is way down from last year. Only 51 runs, only 45 earned runs, 14 home runs. Oh my God. Every single category besides strikeouts is better. ERA's way better. Whip's way better. Quality starts at 11 already. Still no complete games or shutouts, which definitely sucks, but still, everything's looking so much better. That's definitely not typical as you go up, especially at 34 years old. Let's see just how good the Giants can do by the end of the year, and then we're just going to go ahead and go crazy on the upgrades. And the only way we really do that is if he has a good second half. So again, Mad Bum, I need a good second half out of you. Start off hot right here. There we are. 9-3. Oh my gosh, dude. Is he back? He might be back. The end of the year, we finish off 80-82. A lot better than last year, but Mad Bum, that's all I care about. How we feeling? League leaders real quick. Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Wow, we actually got freaking IKF. Are you kidding me? Rotation, all that I care about. 78 overall, so we did go down. That really doesn't mean anything. Mad Bum, oh my God. He's back, baby. 99 to 100 innings pitch at 34 years old. The guy to 200 innings had way more freaking hits, which is so bad. But 80 runs down from last year, which is crazy considering he had 50 more innings, basically. Less earned runs, less home runs, a little bit more in the walks, barely any more in the strikeouts. ERA, though, was so much farther down the last year. Whip, not that great. Quality starts at 21. The home runs down under one, finally. Hasn't had that since 2018, so I like that. There's so much that we got to upgrade. To start it off, the ones I'm going to go with, we got FIP, we got WAR. We got quality starts that we got to spin for. We got earned runs, we got runs, and besides that, that's really about it. Oh, yeah, by the way, though, the freaking ERA. How could I forget? That's six wheel spins so far this year. We still need a lot of help on the plus 20s. Let's go ahead and get that right now. Come on, Matt Bump. This is the last year of his deal, by the way. He's only been signing one-year deals as we get plus 20 on the stamina. Again, we don't need it, but whatever. Going from an 84 to a 99, we only have a couple attribute points left. I'm just going to put a little bit in the hits per nine. What the heck are we going to get next? Again, I need another plus 20. So please give me that as we're going to get a plus 10. To walks per nine. Oh my gosh. Gonna be going up to a 90, by the way, on the walks per nine. We are not gonna walk anybody as we're up to a 83 overall. Spin number three, only halfway there. What the heck do we got now? Please, plus 10 on the clutch. I'm again very down for that. Spin four, I need that plus 20 to show up though. I really do. Please, as we're. Oh my god. 99 stamina going to the freaking bullpen. That just makes so much sense. I hate you for that one, coach. Spin five. Come on. There we go. Finally something. Plus 20 on the clutch. Now we're going to be getting plus 30, technically. Now, with the last spin, give me something for the hits per nine or the case per nine. Please, God, as we're going to get sticky stuff. Oh, my goodness. Right now, we got to use 30 attribute points, technically, on the pitching clutch. We only have room for 19, though. So that means we are still going to have 11. I'm just going to go ahead and divvy that up between the hits per nine and the case per nine. And now we're going to be getting plus 10 velocity on every single pitch that Mad Bum has, which is very, very nice for us. Don't tell anybody, though. All right, we're using that sunscreen and rosin, baby. 87 overall. That's actually so incredible. Let's go. Offseason time. Mad Bum, where are you signing up with next? Oh, God. Corbin Burns. Seven years for 235. They're not messing around. Rangers, by the way, 350 over a 10 for Shane Bieber. I'll be honest. Mad Bum's looking nice, but Corbin Burns is still definitely a fat upgrade. And we were that fifth starter, so I think we get squeezed out. Even though, again, we have to go to the bullpen this year, but still. You're lying. Guys, you're lying. No freaking shot. Mad bum going to the freaking Yankees of all teams. Bro, that's where pitchers go to die. Why are we doing this? Again, we're going to that bullpen right now. Mad bum's going to be looking like a 78. We went from an 
77 to 78. All right, Yankees, let's see what type of magic you can bring for Mad Bum. All of our hard work is about to get trashed in one single season. A little mid-season update real quick, Yankees, 48 and 43. How are we looking for the bullpen? Mad Bum's a 70 one dude <laughs> we were looking so nice and the wheel just ruined it we're still looking great with mad bum that's still a lot better even on the yankees but dude oh my god all the hard work torched again it's only one year though we're gonna be coming back to starting pitching next year but still if mad bum retires this year based off how bad this entire situation was out here in new york then we're definitely not gonna be able to move back to the starting rotation so i really hope he just stays around that's really all i need so come on baby please don't give up now mad bum please god don't do it off season come on we're Retired players, what are we looking like? Yankees, oh my God, he didn't retire. He didn't go yet, I like that. Let's get to 2026 and let's see where that he's going. Back for 2026, Mad Bum, where the heck are we going next? And we're back with the Giants. Thank God for the Giants, for real. Back in the starting pitching as well, 84 overall. I got a bad feeling that we're not gonna be in this rotation because yeah, Kyle Harrison's finally up here. We're gonna be the long reliever. Still though, 36, let's show him some. Right now the trade line, the Giants are on an absolute miracle push right now. Please show me something good though to the rotation. And no, dude, Mad Bum. 72 overall. Please just don't be like Seth Corey. Whatever you do, just don't be like him in a five year A. I didn't think the lifespan was going to be one year left, but oh man. The only thing that we can get a wheel upgrade on is the home runs. That's it. Again, no quality starts because we're not starting. No complete games because we're not starting. No shutouts because we're not starting. Everything's been rough out here. I'll just say that. I'll take the wheel spin though. What the heck are we going to be getting as we're going to get plus 20 on the hits per nine? That is quite literally exactly what we needed, bro. Plus 20 bringing us up from a 50 to a 70. Finally back up to a 77. Let's see if it even matters though in the second half. Come on. No, come on. What a heartbreaker. 85 and 77 the Giants finish off as. We were in first at the trade line and we finish off in third four games back from the Dodgers and two games off from that stupid wild card. My God, a rotation. Mad Bum already back down to 72. It's over, bro. Just be better than Seth. That's all I care about, please. And a 4.2. Still not bad, but yo. Not what we needed when things were looking up so much. There's nothing that we can help with either because he hasn't really set any records as we lose Madison Bumgarner to retirement. Dude's gone. 37 years old and he is out of here, bro. I will say though, we actually did end up saving Mad Bum's career because now he got to put in one last very, very nice season with the team that actually drafted him. A 3.21 at 35 years old is incredibly nice. And let's be honest, the years they put in past the fact of being on the D-backs were still some of the best years. Obviously not as good as when he was younger, but still. Mid to late 30s, he was a pretty solid pitcher. It's unfortunate though they won't be going to the hall of fame r.i.p mad bum it's been nice my boy if you guys enjoyed this leave a like on it and subscribe down below we're almost at 100k let me know down below what other players you guys want to see on this type of series and i'll see you guys later peace out